And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This once again, you may have bowed mind, aka Dr. Wildcat. <clears throat> welcome you back to Hustle Cat, which I've just been hired by this guy, Graves. Wow, great, thank you. Don't know if yet I have paperwork for you. Oh yeah, of course. Grace puts us away from the table, coffee cup in hand. He has my sauce for you, no, I'm not quite finished and say sound serious. It seems as if he'd never left trading empty coffee cups for a stack of papers and pen. He places them in front of me. So what my job be? We'll see. Okay. Did he just hire me with no position mind? Is that how this guy usually works? I feel like I'm at days. Too much information, too much coffee. Indeed, I hear out coffee is too much. It's bitter. I take the papers and skin them, signing pretty much anywhere I see an X-ray in a line. X-ray is the military for the X-ray. Civilian X. What's it all for? Why is it so much? Kids, I've got a job. Puts the papers back towards Grave and he usually scoops them off the table. Perfect, we'll open at 11. Be here at 8. We'll have you help with the morning prep. My displeasure must be pre apparent because now the corrections will not the smoke. You can work a later shift after training. You, don't, you won't have to deal with those cursed mornings for too long. Okay, that's fine. Now go. I have a lot of paperwork to do before tomorrow. You need to get to work after fixing that sleep, sleep schedule of yours. Okay, okay. <coughs> he seems lost in his own world now, pouring over the paperwork with his pellet out. Yes, there's all sorts of... Don't even get me started on taxes. I really do it so casually. Well, whatever, not my problem. Head downstairs, Landry's back. He's almost uncomfortable waiting at the foot of the balcony and proves some way to So? See you tomorrow, co worker. Oh! Oh, congratulations! You can meet everybody else tomorrow morning. Make sure they're all ready for the meeting when you get in. How many people work here? Well, there's me, Chris, of course, Matt Hayes, Finley, Mance, Mason, Reese. That's it. It shouldn't take too long to know them. Oh, great, great. I'll see you tomorrow then. Great, see you. Wahoo! I'm gonna leave it up a little. I'm gonna paint this town red. I finally have a job. Paint the town red. There's a expression that needs to come back. That's from. All the way back in the 20s. Jazz age. Better time. Wish there were no taxes. Eh. Hmm? Okay, that. Just like the developer's name.
gender neutral like my character. That'd be pretty cool. So you don't see enough of that. Salt and Undersea, and that was the first time I ever saw that. <coughs> I got lost and ended up painting anything, but it was a nice walk. As I head home, I get this distinct feeling of being followed. I didn't really know that, that was a thing that actually happens, but it's hard not to notice when you see some movement on the corner of your eye. Turn around. A sleek black cat stands in the middle of the road. It's just telling me make eye contact if I'm just a tail testing against the pavement. got different colored eyes. Guess here Chromia is pretty common cats, huh? Should I like try to bring it to the cat pit? Take straight there after all. I should try. Press it down as slowly as I can reach out my hand towards the cat. Doesn't move. I have this little swooshy noise that seems to work on some cats. This one doesn't seem terribly impressed. It pins its ears back and looks away still for a moment before standing up and sneaking into the alley. Just, just leave this to the professionals. It's time to celebrate! I'm gonna wreck this pizza. I grabbed the pizza boys on the way home. I pick up a, wet, a can of wet cat food from Mochi from the corner store too. We both deserve a celebration. Mochi, get your fat lump out here. I have good news. No answer in case you see him in the same room. No, we never asked how my day it was. I know how to do this. I'll go to the food bowl and crack the lid of the wet food. And a flash, he's at my feet, tail shaking like a bird behind me. Come here, big moron. Scratch behind the ears between it before I dump him cans with bowl and feeding friends begins. It's like I never feed him. Whatever. I'm about to do the same to this pizza. After a quick jaunt to free myself from the shackles on my mind, jump clothing and flop back onto the couch, staring at him laptop in my face. Oh! Please like there's no chili throwing video. It's a video of her sleeping in a door box. I love that dumb man and that cat. She's always doing something ridiculous. Wonder how her own gets to do these tricks. That form seems familiar. Where is it's that film? I don't get why people still say that. <clears throat> I spend the rest of the evening picking through the video archives. I can feel myself sneaking into the bread dough cows cushions. This problem. Wow. But he just wants the, wet, the other half of the wet food. That's why I don't give it to him that often. I excavate myself from the couch and do what I can to make it the better the situation that's going on. The time is in anyway. I grab my phone to check. 740! Oh hell! I'm gonna be late for my first day of work! I take the world's fastest shower, but there's no time to dry my hair. I have to hope I can run fast enough so the wind resistance will do the job for me. No time to swim short through my duffel. I'm just gonna have to throw on whatever looks cleanest. And speaking of Undertale, this is kinda like Sand Shaggy. It's kinda like Sand in his human form that some people draw me. It's not like Drew said anything about dress codes or whatever. I had dress codes or a bunch of crap anyway. OG followed trails me closely, hollering some more and more insistently in one way. It's like he doesn't care about punctuality at all. No time to move his way through the way of like 
scoop it. I thought the scoop of kibble into the bowl on my way up the door. It looks like kibble was from dogs. Oh. I haven't seen a cat so offended since the one who watched me rest up the coffee. We can both deal with it. Can't believe I'm almost late to my first day of work. My first job even. What a great first impression to leave. Thanks for hiring me, Avery the Flake. I started out in a full sprint to get paid with so long. Only about 10 minute walks, so it looks like it might not be as bad as I thought. If I can run, I can make it less time. Here it is, a cat's paw. I got a good look at where he was, where I was here yesterday, but it feels totally different when it's your workplace, you know? It's kind of nice to think about. Hey, Avery! Head out to the door again. Surprised by how many people stand around. Ray's, Landry, and Hayes are there, but so few of them I've ever seen. I want to see a few cats right now. They seem utterly disinterested in everything we're doing. They're all piled in a deep cluster, in a sleep cluster by the window. I feel a little embarrassed I'm so disheveled, but I'd rather be on time with one hand late looking perfect. Good, you decide to tell them it's the morning and have a song after all. Now the stars here, we can start this show. So it's just the last year. Cool, I like weird people. I don't, I don't like it when people try too hard to be normal. In the words of Dr. Gregory Howes that I know he's Fictional character not exist as the best role model, but I believe this to be true. Normal is overrated. But indeed, if I'm working for people who are normal, with humanity as we know will never have come this far. I can't figure out whether you're male or female, so I'm just going to use the try to use it. Finally, sucker boss. That's a steam co worker to you, Reese. Just keep collecting these strays. Before we get too far, everybody should introduce themselves to Avery. Avery, we've already met. You seem to know Hayes. Did you meet Hayes yesterday? Briefly. Hello, Hayes. Gone to try between the cracks of the tile. How's the galley? The same old job deals with people. He's a great barista. He's a great help in the kitchen, but he likes to spend a lot of his time with the cats too. He's flashed me a quick look. Side of the mouth upturns ever so slightly when he's trying to smile but he's out of practice. I reached out to shake his hand. Practically bracing for impact. Before I reach him, bright light fest. <laughs> the cold of my fist. Whoop. Is that camera? Oh, sorry, sweetie. I thought I turned the flash off. I moved my head to the other side of the pile. Girl, in the end, your phone directly at me. Sorry, don't mind me. I just want to commemorate our new employee. I'm Finley and I take care of social media. I like candy, so I'll try to get him here and you've forgotten about it. Finley is also... Graves! I know what you're going to say! Don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> alright, alright. You tell him here when you, whenever you're ready. Thank you! Two in the middle lineup will be beyond unimpressed. What is the smart math guy? Okay, guy. Reese? I don't know if it looks like someone I wouldn't want to mess with. Then he puts some fan on his shoulder and tucks the fucking woman standing next to her. Since she's not going to introduce herself, this is me. She's our head chef. 
or our only ship, I guess. Well, it's nice to be you both. You know. Then we reach the zone for the... <coughs> reach the zone and places her hand against the back of Mason's head. Pushes her head forward, forcing Mason to nod. Mason's face is putting up for this. Wow, that's the most you've spoken all day! She likes you already, Avery! Kind of you to see the best for last. I'm reason I'm the one you'll be entered to after Chris. You better steal my good side. I don't know why I'm giving him the New York accent. I just like the New York accent, it's so fun to do. Probably going to make it even stronger if the time goes on. So I like doing so much. Even though I can't stay in New York teams, part of being a classic red, white, blue, white. Holy son! <laughs> I could have sworn my entry was second in command here, so I don't know what this kid's talking about. I didn't even see him at all during the interview yesterday. I'm a credit detail today, but I don't think that but don't think that means I won't be keeping an eye on you. Cat detail must be made to taking care of the cats. Obviously. I'm learning quickly. I don't know why the second command would be so eager about <laughs> Tell me he's got a clean lid box today, I don't know. Maybe it's a weird status thing here. Ew. Uh, I'll be on my best behavior then, I guess. Good. Okay, that should be everybody then. Avery, you'll be training with me today. I hope that's okay. That's fine with me. Looks like I'm no longer needed. I have other work to do. You know where to find me. Grace slips back to the cafe. To the back to the cafe. I think I hear his footsteps on the creaky stairs. Mason hates this pressure. Avery, did you have breakfast? We're going to have something to eat before we work if you'd like to join us. It's tradition. It sounds great. I put my cap, I forgot to feed myself. Dude, seriously? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. He just obviously serves himself with long boost and seeing a long walk. He scoots two of his heels together and Landry pulls over another chair. Great, just sit and relax. Mason's just finishing up breakfast. I always take a seat but family blocks my path. Avery, before you sit down, I have a question for you. Sure, what's up? Okay, is that... Okay. That's a kid. That's a kid. That's a kid. <laughs> what's with the Undertale save point eyes here? All kinds of things like Undertale here. It's my favorite too. Oh, what? Here? From Blast Zone? Well, you don't have to play dumb. I get it. No, I really have no idea what this is. Is that like a show? Is this shirt from something? Oh, um, no. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Looks like we're going to be starting to now. But hey, you got my interest. What is Blitz so? I don't know if it's your type of game at all. Oh, it's a game. I like games. Try me. Well, the story about men's passions clashing in a life or death struggle. Sounds dangerous. Oh, it is! But it's also romantic! Romantic? Like. Well, balloon on the battlefield, that kind of thing? Yeah! I think you do get it! Maybe I'll lend it to you sometime. If you prove yourself worthy. I'm not really sure that involves, but sure. Okay! 
gives me a grin and a wink, then takes a seat next at the table next to Reese. <coughs> I noticed that somebody sat at the table while I was talking to Finley. Mason he should be out in a minute, Avery. Come sit down. Sure. Where should I sit though? I have just some unspoken rules about this kind of thing, please. You never know what new groups. I need your interest to come under before me if I back into the seat between him and them. Quietly, I take the seat. Mason emerges from the back with a large tray balanced on top of each head. One tray has a giant stack of French toast, but it's some kind of like thing. I'm not sure, but it looks amazing. Whoa! <laughs> I just had to do that because the face there. <coughs> That's a, a thing from Fairy Tale, the one anime worth watching this stage. And uh, this voiceover is just WHOA! Season 5 in that anime. I had no idea how fun it was till just now. She said the trace down from us and turns the kid. I hope she gets back soon because I'm about to on that egg plate, don't you on with me. Mason returns a few minutes later, cradling six empty coffee cups in arms. Ace falls and toes carefully, balancing carefully. I don't know how it's pronounced. Hold coffee. They set the cups down in the crave on the table and take the seats. He's but barely sits the chair before the others start to dig in. I'm afraid I'll lose my hand on the tray when I try to jump it down, but I'm so afraid. Andrew reaches out the arm behind the porch's French toast slices. Shouldn't that be capitalized since it's the proper noun? But the bats reach his hand. For the savage. Save some for Avery. Jeez, calm down. No one's stealing all food. I haven't taken any more than usual. Breakfast is important. All everybody shouts and shouts across the table while I help myself to a bit of it. I'm not used to eating real breakfast, especially one that didn't come out of my way. Don't go save me. Wow, this is amazing. Mason, what is this egg thing? Mason's eyebrows suits up. She looks <laughs> like I feel like I'm on the toes. It's so great. Is that like a souffle? It looks like it would be really hard to make. Just eggs and vegetables in a pan. Still, I don't, I know I wouldn't be able to make anything like that. Oh, come on, have some salt count. It's really nice to have real breakfast. What do you usually eat, Avery? Mostly cold pizzas, breakfast champions. Or toasted tarts, I guess. I remember to get them. Mason glares at me like I just slapped the plate on the floor. She says the words you at me, through me, with a hard look in her eyes. We here now. Always. I love pizza sometimes. Not for breakfast. Ever. Besides, I'm going to give her nasty peace voice because she reminds me a lot of him. Hopefully, he's still soft enough as well. He seems quite mean spirited right now. Okay. Father time is still alright, right? Need some rolls to rise and goes back. We start us up with between bites of French toast. If you're one with dumb, we need to talk about the dress code. Oh, Reese, don't start this again. <laughs> the important part of the employee orientation. <clears throat> when Andrew passes a positive with pain hold back, it's Reese. He glances at me, but it pokes the ribs from Finn and sends him standing back at his plate. 
Andrew, you're just a mama bird sometimes. Lighten up. Look at this place. Take our visual presentation very seriously. Our places is empty plate and cup formations plate and tapes to sack back to the users with the urgency of a tactile sheet. I prefer the term advancing in another direction. That's from the legendary green chesty polar. I can't remember what the actual one was, but that's what they call. say not retreating we're advancing in another direction I love it Graves not expect the sit level with the cold waist there is this about my outfit I woke up a little late so no this is about your fault this push the chair away from the table and I'm forced to walk through the middle of two legs so sit and take my plate for the first swoop Opening soon. Time to get ready. She picks up an L and do cast on skill one hand bounce the wheel and place on top. That looks heavy, but she's holding it all with nothing. Come on! Stares me down just as back door with the head not pushing the door. Don't think you can run off so easily, Avery. We got You'll, you'll get written up if you don't have a uniform. Okay, uh... No one seems to be wearing uniforms. Uh, seems very serious about this. Maybe I shouldn't just pull them off because they're all so young. Indeed, everyone should be treated equally. Nobody else is wearing any uniforms. Just haven't changed yet, but I don't need them. Only wait to see if you're wearing uniforms, you'll be waiting tables for Landry today. Yeah, but Landry... Landry doesn't have a uniform. He's quite so silver sold towards Randy. <laughs> Randy. Landry, who's made himself busy straightening up the tables in the dining room. He doesn't appear to have heard either of us. Maybe it's just ignores. That's because we don't have a uniform in size. Yet, someday we won't have an excuse anymore. Come on, Avery. I bet you're cute in the uniform. I'll be feeling good to see about this. Avery's friend is in a drawer by the back door and pulls in some kind of black, orange, and white boots. I can't see it, right? This looks like it's be a size. Now, come on! Dump some pile of lace and fabric from my hands and put this to me. That's why I assume it's the bathroom. Pause in front of the door and get a piece of bail for work. Oh, come on! At least try it! <laughs> okay, now I know he's messing with me. Nobody outside 19th century England has worn something like this. I'm pretty sure I haven't yet bent in the arms that up. I don't know, it's pretty cool. What is this, some kind of hazing thing? I'll pass. Oh, come on! The cat's poor tradition! I've always consider myself a mole breed, and that is indeed true for me in real life. Go on the record, Avery. He's fun. So you can 
kid who just has torture. What a brat. He was really almost disappointed. I attempt to trip the uniform of the sword, but he moves his head before I have a chance to grab a big orange ribbon around his head. Stupid puppy outfit. Does anybody actually wore it and voice it wrong? Voice it nothing! I want to wear it every day! They won't let me. Should have seen Landry practically busted the seams. That's what I was seeing with Landry though. I have no idea how he would have gotten into the zero point in the first place. I should have heard his name because he had it up to the second floor. Mace was too scared to ask Mason to do it. Was not. You were. You mentioned your dress code and she stared icicles at you and you stopped. <laughs> Just wasn't relevant. How about you, Reese? Of course not. Really? This looks like it's about your size. No! Grace had me. I had nothing to do with this. You see, you saw it before any of us, so we wouldn't know. No! <laughs> I bet you look like a little priest. <laughs> the face is on all three of them. <laughs> I'm leaving. I have to go get ready for the cat detail. Okay, your highness. Leaving! He storms off. This peers around the corner and leads to the kitchen. Finally gives me a white punch on the sword and slide key. I bet if you talk to Grace, you might have a picture of me in that uniform. Nah, I'm good. Oh, sport, sport. Well, I have. I better get to work too. Good luck on your first day. I'll try to document your progress for the plot later. And he gives me a little wave that follows me to the back. Guess it's the prime way I learned to be wearing up to the train made day after all. Take him out of the stage. I know we prefer the staircase, but I can't take him out of the my pet. Sleeping belly up stretched out near the hole with the step. Buddy, that's really cute, but that's a dangerous place to sleep. Doesn't take the find me order response. Instead, the fat orange cat shares and places to sell itself even more. Gently, I'm not to see if I can get the cat to move. Someone's gonna trip on you if you don't move. It's not gonna be fun for either of you. He opens one wide eye to a thin slit that makes a murder noise for the thing. This little tiger isn't going anywhere, is he? All the cats see this spoiled? No stuff to pick it up and move myself. I'll even <coughs> I scoop it up and decided to do a tiny orange and white bobtailed cat. What is this to pitch my feet? It stops on the step before the Hello, the sleeping cat, and reads one palm past the other. Look this cat scrambling on the forehead. Sleeping cat wakes up and hops to his feet. He's angry. Am I gonna have to break up a cat fight? Hey, you too. Bobtail flags the seizures to his intensely dark cat. Both quick up when they hear a voice from above. Ah, uh, is Hash Brown sleeping on the stairs again? The orange cat, Hash Brown, I guess, trots away. And he looks way down to see the size of the bobtail kid. Billy doesn't say safe to smack him. It should be nice. The bobtail turns his head and the wide arc is up to see. As if it's giving him an okay whatever in response. It weighs his chest so it's the only story he sits up to The cat's name is Hat Brown? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Graves names the cat's here. Comes up with some interesting ones. What are some of the names? Hmm. Well, at the moment, there's Ramona, Shinsuke, Kotick, Al, Ramble Pelt, Nal, Isa, Valentine, Marina, Ming, Junta, Jamband, and so on. Holy crap. 
first one was that bobtail. Oh. She's false. Make some nervous. That's... Why don't you guys free sleeper? Oh. Is that his cat in him or something? The bad man? No, he's... You're just totally dumb. Let's get to work. It's time to open. My Jesus, I have no more. He walks past me to the front door without a glance. He unlocks it and flips the sign and blows it open. And ta da! The first day of the cast fall has begun. I guess that's no good place to stop this. If you think I'm doing it, please consider subscribing. I was so bad. Thank you.